In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can display the results generated in SVL using Paraview. The first thing we need to do is to open a file. We search where the Paraview animation files are stored. We then select all the partitions, in this case there are six. Once we open this file, we hit on the apply button. We can show the partitions by clicking on the eye icon at the pipeline browser. There are several options in order to display the mesh. These are just a few. We can now get back to the same mesh file by clicking once again on the eye icon at the pipeline browser. With the model loaded, we can perform a cat. In order to do this, we click on the clip icon. We must provide a coordinate where the cat center plane is located. We then provide the normal of the cat plane. We perform this process for all the other partitions. Once we are done, the mesh will look like this one. We can also use the crinkle creep option in order to show the elements that has been cut. So this will show a rougher surface. To display the node field result, we choose the node response that we would like to display. In this case, we have chosen the velocity. We do the same for each partition. We can set the range of the velocity value by clicking on the range button. We select the field component to display. In this case, we will keep the magnitude Let's start the animation on step 8. If we hit the apply button, we will see how the velocity fields evolve in time. We can stop the animation using the pause button. We can display the deformation on top of the velocity field by adding a warp filter. We click on the warp icon. We set a factor scale in this case of 250. We do the same for all the other six partitions. We can hide the color bar if we only want to display the deformation. Let's center the model and let's play the animation. Note how the wave propagates upward and the building the form as intended. In order to display element field results, we select, for example, the stress response.
so we hit the automatic color range icon to display the colors in a better fashion. and we select some nodes in the model. We go to the selection and display inspector window. From point labels we select displacements. You will see how the three components of the displacement are shown in the selected nodes. We can display the animation and see how these values changes in time. We can display no time series responses. To do this, we click on the node selection icon once again. We select some nodes as we did before. The process will take some time. Once this is done, a quartil chart view window will show. We unselect all the options and we select the ones that we are interested in. We can also display line time series responses. To do this we click on the plot over line icon. We specify the initial and end nodes of the line. A line chart view windows will appear. We again unselect all the options we're not interested and we select the ones we want to see. We select the range for the velocity values. If we play the animation, we see how the wave travels along this line. Finally, we can display several windows at the same time. We can split the windows vertically and horizontally and we can display different render views. We can also link all the cameras in just one window. 